Returning to CoinSurrey's channel is an absolute pleasure. Request from viewer is, who is your favorite CEO and who is the best coin for you? You can also comment your opinion. Thank you to all the subscribers of our CoinSurrey's. Who came to our channel CoinSurrey's? You will always be info with the latest CoinSurrey's news. Number 1, CEO Brad Garlinghouse XRP and Ripple. Number 2, CEO Grayscale SEC Number 3, CEO JP Morgan Bitcoin Number 4, CEO Brian Armstrong Coinbase Please like my video and subscribe my channel. Just now, the XRP news went viral, you must watch this. If you are interested in XRP or own XRP tokens, you need to keep up with the latest news. On a trading volume of $1 billion today, XRP is trading between $0.50 cents and $7. The price of XRP has gone up 1.7% in the past week, but it has gone down 0.6% in the last day. There are currently 48 billion XRP coins in circulation, out of a total of 100 billion. Please note that the prices displayed in this video are subject to change and should not be construed as financial advice. Additionally, the cryptocurrency industry is fraught with peril, do your own research to ensure a sensible investment. If you are looking to purchase or sell XRP, these are some of the most popular exchange platforms available. Blockchain, Toro, and GitHub very well, then, let's begin. The film is complete. Listen up, there's a whale out there. An important transaction involving Ripple XRP falls through. The Bitcoin ETF remains the center of attention in the cryptocurrency market. A $14.7 billion XRP transfer involving Ripple has recently redirected investor attention, according to the network that monitors crypto whales. A Ripple whale attempted to transfer 25 billion XRP tokens, or about $14 million, from an unidentified wallet to a user's BitPhoenix exchange wallet, as revealed on Whale Alert's official social media site. However, the data that was gathered showed that the wait alert mentioned transaction was failed since the balance was inadequate. Also, following the announcement of the huge Bitcoin transfer, investors have flocked to social media in droves to find out more details. Cryptocurrency markets could experience selling pressure due to these whale transfers. Taking over Bitfinex, specialists emphasize that the main reason people move tokens from offline wallets to exchange on wallets is to sell them since massive sales can lead altcoin prices to correct. Paolo Arduino, CEO of Temperance, stated that Bitfinex was attacked in the attempted transaction after the news of the transfer leaked. He continued by saying that Bitfinex, a popular cryptocurrency exchange, was able to withstand an attempted partial payment attack because its provided amount data field was functioning correctly. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's start working. The video may now proceed. A remarkable development has occurred in the Ripple v SEC lawsuit. Crypto expert Zach Rector has revealed a possible outcome that could lead to a billion-dollar sanction for the corporation by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Maybe $3 billion for Ripple is too much. Monday, the well-known financial expert used YouTube to comment on the continuing legal dispute between S2 Watch and Ripple. If Rector is correct and the payment company did violate federal securities laws by selling XRP to institutions, the SEC might punish them over $3 billion. Taurus governing XRP ODL sales or investment contracts would be catastrophic for the company, according to the expert. Because of this, the corporation will have to pay the SEC somewhere about $3.5 billion to $3 billion. Rector states that the regulator asserts that Director is aware that Ripple will file an appeal with the Second Circuit due to the firm's December 20 lawsuit. If Judge Torres finds in favor of the sellers, the oddball sales can be seen as investment contracts. The company, he maintained, had to have gotten. Oddball-related sales will never be considered securities, according to details given by its legal team. Also, he said that Odsel XRP purchasers aren't interested in the payment organization's efforts. He reasoned that, in light of Tora's decision classifying XRP sales associated with Odsel as securities, Ripple would likely need to file an appeal. 
Rector addressed the claims that Ripple will never be able to trade XRP in a video that was uploaded on YouTube. That is, assuming they wind up paying the fine. He denied it, saying the business could still manage all aspects of XRP sales. The Significance of the Discovery Period Rector stressed that both the SEC vs Ripple legal dispute and the litigation's remedies component are presently in the discovery phase. The company was asked to respond to an interrogator and produce two important papers by a U.S. regulator who filed a request last Monday. The SEC has asked for Ripple's audited financial statements for 2022 and 2023 along with the post-complaint contract that controls the company's sales of XRP to institutions. The SEC is anticipating an answer from Ripple regarding their request on January 19. The following step for the payment platform will be to reject the request. The final action in the remedies case will be filed by the SEC on April 29, 2024. The court will then rule on the remedies. Plus, news stories from today. A prominent financial journalist has angered the XRP community. Some time ago, there was a Twitter battle between the XRP community and well-known financial journalist Charles Gasparino. It all began with a seemingly humorous tweet from Gasparino. In a made-up conference debate about XRP mooning on time and the underfunded BlackRock ETF, he poked fun at the community's love with accurate predictions and conspiracy theories. Many who own XRP were excited by the prospect of an exchange-traded fund, ETF, from BlackRock. But Horror Marino pulled them back to reality by asking if BlackRock CEO Larry Fink understands XRP at all. As a result, the XRP community was severely divided and furious. The XRP community and Gasparini have had their share of disagreements in the past. He has alienated some people due to his previous remarks that characterized their views as cultish and their conspiracy theories as ridiculous. This issue involves more than just personal animosity. An example of the friction is the disagreement between some Bitcoin community members and more traditional financial players. Traditional financial institutions are notoriously wary and cautious, which contrasts with the wild and unexpected nature of cryptocurrency and the narrative surrounding it. Gas Marino, who is widely recognized for his critical nature, represents the cautious perspective. He warns his listeners to be wary of assertions that do not have evidence to back them up. On the flip side, the XRP community exemplifies the boundless energy that drives innovation and change in the cryptocurrency world. In order to bridge this divide, it is essential to identify common ground.